Hello students, today we are going to discuss about a uh, frustum of a square pyramid which is uh, resting above a square block. Uh, the dimensions are as uh, given below. As you can see the square block has a 60 mm uh, uh, side length and height is 20 mm. Uh, whereas uh, when it comes to uh, frustum of a square, square pyramid, uh, at the bottom base it is uh, 40 mm sides and uh, height is 60 mm and the top face it is 20 mm it is given in the uh, picture as you can see the orthographic picture it is given in that we have 20 mm uh, 40 mm and uh, for the square block it is 60 mm and one of the side should be uh, the base edge of the pyramids are parallel to the top edges of the square block as you can see here this is parallel draw the isometric projection of the combination of the solid so here first we have to start with a uh, square block and i will start with the thick line thick continuous line so here i have to start with 60 type 60 type uh, press enter and 30 60 30 then again 60 150 then again 60 minus 150 then again 60 minus 30 so you will get a square in the isometric way and uh, from here the thickness of the square block is given it is very it is 20 and it is a vertical lines therefore 20 and 90 so with that now you can select this uh, go to move turn on copy command select this end place it exactly at the tip of this line now go to line select from this top corner select from top corner to the bottom corner select from top corner to the bottom corner and here also select from here to here now there are few lines which are hidden in this like these two lines including this line so i'm going to make it into hidden thin and it is a square block right it is very very simple now i need to construct one more square whose side length is 40 above this surf top surface of the square block now uh, first i am going to find the center of this i am going to draw a middle midpoint to midpoint so the midpoint of this will be the center of this i am going to keep that into a thin line and an invisible line so the midpoint of this will be the midpoint of this square block now i am going to select the square block which i already have whose side length is 60 as you can see it here I now instead of constructing one more I'm just converting this presently existing square block for the different dimension so for that I'm going to use a scale command uh, turn on copy command because original should remain there itself I need a duplicate copy over there and in place of scale factor I require a square of 40 divided by I have a square of 60 so the ratio is around 0.67 which automatically takes so I'm going to place it exactly in the middle of this right click now I have a square block as you can see here if you select this you can see the length here it is 40 all the lengths are same it is 40 so directly you can convert 40 by 60 you to get the square of 40 if you have a square of 60 as simple as that now I'm going to take the axis axis I did 60 it is given as 60 from the midpoint I'm going to draw a line the height is 60 90 right now select this convert this into axis as it is an axis line it's supposed to be thin line okay so now this is axis at this portion i need another square whose side length is 20 as you can see it here the side length is 20 now i'm going to construct there so again i have a square of 40 so i'm going to select this right uh, including the midpoint so i'm going to select this as well now Again, I'll go to scale, turn on the copy command because original should remain there itself. I need a duplicate of duplicate over there. So here in the scale factor, I require a square of side length 20 divided by I have a square of side length 40. So you can type that easily. You'll get it. You can keep it anywhere you want. Then go to move. Select this midpoint, place it, turn off the copy command, place it exactly at this okay now you can uh, delete the construction line if you don't want like this midpoint i really don't not require that so now go to line it should be a thick line from this end till this end join it from this end 
till this from this corner till this corner join that there are few lines which are hidden like this i have to use the split tool go to split tool select split select this select this intersection select this and select this intersection now i'm going to select this 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 and i'm going to convert that into a thin line invisible line so this completes the solution now what are the things that i have to represent uh, i'm going to use a uh, uh, once again thin line over here just to show it is at an angle of 30 degree on either side so i can draw an horizontal line go to angle between select from this till here only till here not to exceed that so again from this till here so just try to keep it symmetry and you can also show use the smart dimension you can show the width of this it is 20 and you can use the axis and you can show the width of this it is 60 right so far so for whatever we have done it is done to the actual dimension so now what you have to do you have to select this right go to scale turn off the copy command in place of scale factor it is 0 0.8164 press enter and place it exactly at that point as you can see automatically the value gets reduced correct that means it's converted to iso this 30 degree remains 30 degree this does not change right now i can select this both and i can make that into a blank value now select this go to uh, prefix here you can type iso 60 press ok again select this go to prefix here iso 20 right so try to keep it as minimum as possible because it looks really good if it is minimalized uh, if you make it with lot of uh, dimensions it doesn't look that much of good uh, if you still have time you can go with all the other dimensions so this completes your problem six uh, we have a square a frustum of a square pyramid and above the uh, 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 square block okay so thank you